This is Derek here. I have a review of the Solar Aid solar charger. It's billed as the lightest, smallest portable solar panel you can get. I do believe that's correct. I haven't seen any any other competitors that come quite as close as this, but I wanted to give you a little hands-on. I've been using it for uh, about two weeks now, and I'm really digging it. The Solar Aid solar charger very lightweight pretty small size I think it weighs about six and a half ounces it's pretty it's pretty lightweight pretty small it's plastic looks like uh, some sort of I don't know polycarbonate or maybe even fiberglass I'm not sure what that's made out of but the panel itself is very lightweight uh, one of the features that is kinda handy for this is it comes with they call this the I think they call it the magic bar and it helps you prop it up at the optimal angle uh, for those who don't know how to locate the sun uh, if you put this at an angle to have the smallest shadow being cast from the magic bar you're going to be pointed directly at it it's kind of hard to see in this video uh, but you can uh, you know prop it up a steeper angle or put it down lower and then pivot it to so you're facing the sun directly. And there's one USB port on the end. Might be one little weak point. There is no plug for this to cover it. I don't know that that's it hasn't been an issue for me, but I guess it could be if it got thrown in your bag with all your pocket lint and crumbs and whatnot. This is just a panel. There is no battery storage on this. This is a 5 watt, 5 volt, 1 amp panel. It does put out an amp. It will charge a smartphone in about two hours, say for an iPhone. I have a 4S. That sounds about right. About two hours to fully charge it. I feel as if this could be better when paired with a battery pack. And you could charge the battery pack in the sun then use the battery pack to charge your phone but it definitely could be you know useful say lunchtime accessory go sit in the sun plug your phone in charge it for an hour and get you know a half charge to make it through the rest of the day it doesn't come with any sort of carrying case or covering I think it could benefit from that uh, you know it's, it looks fairly durable but Personally, I would probably worry about it getting all scratched up if it was just thrown in a bag with the rest of my stuff. Probably a Kindle protector or an iPad protector or even just a piece of cloth wrapped around it while you throw it in your bag would probably go a long way to making this last longer. The hole here where the magic bar comes in, you can uh, thread a carabiner or something through it hanging on the back of your bag. I guess you could use it if you were walking away from the sun. As far as indication of charging, there's only one small thing, and it's this little red LED light. It can be kind of misleading because it doesn't tell you exactly how much of a charge you're getting, but it does show you that it's operating. One comment from some other uh, reviewers or recipients of the Solar Aid were that for some devices, when a shadow were to pass over the device, it would stop charging and give you a message of this device is not supported. I didn't notice that happening with mine again on a 4S. I plugged it in, got was getting a great charge, then turned the panel completely over so there was no light hitting it, and my device stopped charging, didn't give me any error message, and as soon as I returned it to the sun, it began charging again automatically, and you didn't need to replug it in. Uh, your mileage may vary on this. I like the small size of this, I like the light weight of this. Uh, if I was going to try to reinvent the wheel of these guys, I would probably say, well, what about two panels that fold it out? Or what about uh, battery storage? Or what about a million other ideas? But I do think for what it is, strictly a charging, charging only, no energy storage, it's a great deal. I think it would come in really handy, uh, either for daily use just to charge your phone, or if you are going off-grid, you want to charge you know a mobile device with this so this magic bar I just took it out of the uh, mounted hole here 
it does actually slide onto that top rail. If I can do it one handed for storage. So you've really just got one piece. You don't need to keep track of that as long as it's on the top. One other small little drawback that I found, I think it's just cosmetic, but so it is made out of plastic and I noticed that right here on the bottom edge seems to get a little scratched just from sitting on the ground. I'm not sure why that would happen, but it doesn't affect uh, how well it works at all. It's purely cosmetic, but I'm hoping maybe in the next iteration this would be maybe out of aluminum or something that was more scratch resistant, maybe a little sturdier. So this was a Kickstarter project, successfully reached its goal and shipped out to the backers. Uh, as far as I can tell, all of the backers are pretty happy with this, although everyone does have improvements that they would like to see on the next model. Overall, I think it's a very solid product and probably well worth your money.